a bravery with no limits. Sacrifice without conditions. Our fallen heroes, Chicago police officers killed or catastrophically injured. After all they've given us, what can, what will we do for them? We will never forget Officer Bernie Damagala, a married father of three young sons. Officer Damagala was shot during a hostage situation 25 years ago, suffering traumatic brain damage. When I was little, a hero to me was someone on the sports field. Growing up day, day by day with my father and, and learning from him and what his experiences have been with, with this whole incident. You're our real hero. Thank you very much. It's people that give the ultimate sacrifice, the, the catastrophically injured police officers, as well as the ones who die in the line of duty. Those guys are the true heroes. Before the Memorial Foundation, I say we kind of drifted out, and we probably did feel forgotten about, and the Memorial Foundation changed all that. Support and emotional support have been huge. It's one of the greatest feelings in the world to know that such a tragedy can happen to a family and to know that 25 years later, they're still remembering you and knowing you know, the pain and the suffering that you're going through. Going into college, there's a lot of concern kind of seeing how we were gonna pay for it and we talked with the memorial and we, as we learned through them that they would offer to fund as much school as they could for us and um, get us through that program and they never forget the family, never forget my dad and it's great to have them behind us through the whole school process. It gives me so much power and strength to know that there's 13,000 people walking side by side with us. We will never forget Officer Eric Lee, married to Sean, the father of young Erica. Officer Lee was shot and killed in 2001 as he was assisting a beating victim. Every day I live and, and breathe and wake up and think, you know, what can I do today that will make my father, Eric Lee, proud? She's done everything her father would have wanted her to do. And I know that, you know, with the extra love and support from the organization and from those who've even taken special interest in her, that, you know, she's, she has a bright future ahead. And I know that she'll make us all proud. It's definitely just an overwhelming feeling of joy and, and gratitude to know that there are people here who care about you, who love you, who want to see you succeed and want to see you go to new levels and just really help you and they're always there for you. It's almost been 12 years for me, so I think that I've kind of grown to stand proud and be proud of his name being on the wall and the brick pavers. I think that I've embraced that. So I kind of look at this place as, as a serene, uh, gentle reminder is that this is what my God wanted and this is, you know, he died doing what he loved doing. So this is a, a peaceful place for me to and capture all that. It's definitely a feeling of gratitude that something as beautiful as this park is dedicated to officers like my father. It's just a beautiful place to gather and be one. We will never forget Officer Benjamin Perez, a married father of three. Officer Perez was struck and killed by a train in 2002 as he conducted a drug investigation. It was one of those September, really beautiful, warm, sunny days. Well, when there was a knock on the door and then my mom answered it, uh, I was told to go to my room. My mind kind of went blank, like, hmm, there's a police officer fully dressed outside my door. I just knew something was wrong. And then he asked to speak with me and suggested Katerina leave the room. I just remember my, uh, my mom opened the door and I just knew from like the look on her face. He loved what he did. He was, it's what, it's what drove him. You know, he, he loved being a cop. When the Memorial Foundation started, it was just like an addition to the family. Um, they've been there for everything. I had small children. I had a lot on my plate. And sometimes I just felt like 
there were things I could, one more thing I couldn't handle. And yet they always stepped up and made life easier for me. And I never had to ask. And that means a lot to me. I would like to be a lawyer, maybe even play baseball as a grown up, or maybe even being a police officer. Like my dad was, I would want to be one because uh, what he did was um, very good to the community. Everyone that we've met from the foundation has just been so nice and gracious to us and it's just amazing that these people who we wouldn't have known have come into our lives and just been like these great blessings to us. I think we should have the best memorial in the country to police officers in Chicago, and that's what we intend to build. My message to people who give is, of course, thank you, uh, from the bottom of our hearts. I think the extra care, concern, um, the financial assistance, the love that is genuinely there. Um, I just want them to know it will never be forgotten. Three, two, one. Just thank you for all the good things you have brought into our lives that it just makes everything so good. We will never forget is our motto. And that's so important because there's 567 names on that wall. And if you could go back to any one of those police officers their last day of work and say to them, you know, you're not going home today, their thing to you would be take care of my family. And that's what that never forget means to me is that we're, we're never gonna forget the sacrifice that not only that police officer made, but his family has made and we're gonna be there for the family. It's more than a slogan, it's the life that they chose to live and kind of act on, and it means everything. 1930, Jerry E. Murphy, Louis C. Zusick. Thank you so much for donating to the Police Memorial Foundation. The mission of the foundation is just incredible and for you to uh, put your money into that foundation uh, for the benefits of families who have lost loved ones or um, catastrophically injured, it's just amazing. Mm -hmm.